What's going on, Chad? Hey, buddy. The guitar is fixed and done. All right, go on. It's back. Let's have a look in here. Does it go good or? Very well. Awesome. Belly bulge is gone. I'm excited to play it. I got some paint in my hands as I was doing my paint in my shop door this morning, but. I'm gonna get that off of there. Take some of the footage you had. Do some playing over top of the footage maybe. I'm excited to try this thing out. See, it's moving yeah. quite a bit there. This is the guy, by the way, that did this guitar right up here for me. This is my other gem. I brought it to two other guys, and they, well, one butchered it, and the other one couldn't quite complete it. Then this guy right here fixed it up for me real good. So, so just his work. And, uh, hopefully, um, when I look into this guitar more, it's something a lot easier than that, and it's just to uh, tighten it down in here, but I think that uh, it's going to have to get re-glued, is my opinion on it. So, a lot of the time when you don't use them, too, uh, you've got problems with the bridge, and uh, sometimes it'll lift up if you don't release, like guys say, in the, you know, they'll, on acoustics, they'll um, release the string tension on them a little bit, loosen them off, yeah. and, then, and then tune it up to pitch when you're ready to play it, because you'll get a bridge that lifts sometimes and the whole body will lift with it and this thing will, the bridge will pop off sometimes and okay. so yeah it's going to be fixable okay, for sure perfect we'll have it playing again I'll put a straight edge on the guitar body and you'll see there's a hump there's quite a bit of gap on each side as you can see here you can get feeler gauges in this will lift up over time it's about four thousandths, maybe more. Might might be able to get a six in there actually. So once it gets re-glued down, there won't be any gap there. That should bring the action down even lower. If we take, yeah, we can. I can get six in there. If we take this bridge out and sand that. There won't be any break angle. You lose all your tone. So we ain't gonna touch that. And we can't remove any wood underneath it because there's a pickup there. And if we go any deeper, we'll be hitting the the, the soundboard. So we don't want to do that. So. I'm gonna try seven thousand switches. Seven thousand just fits in there. So yeah, we need to do a re-glue and bring that hump down, and then you'll have nice low action again. It's the only option I think with this guitar. And then it'll it'll play beautifully. Well, I don't know what I'm doing today. <laughs> Cheater. I got carpal tunnel issues. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing is when try to hold the string out of the nut, yeah. so you don't lose your action on the nut. Uh, I use a little plastic winder. <laughs> used to. This is way faster. Than... I made, turned a martini spoon. Well, everybody knows now. Yeah, now they know my, they know my secrets. <laughs> martini spoon. Yeah. Oh, you'll have to turn the camera off, it's taking too long. <laughs> See, look, that's how they should come out. <laughs> just, one, just that big string. Yeah, it's it's in there good. good. There we go. Get these strings out of here before they cause problems. There we go. heat to her. Sometimes you gotta make custom ones. And now we wait.
This little thing plays great. Um, the belly bulb just gone. The bridge has been all reset. The neck's been worked on. I also put a button in the back for me. It didn't have one before for the strap. It probably plays just as good or maybe even better than its original purchase some 25 years ago. So if you got work that needs to be done out there, give Langdon Guitar Repair a call and uh, get in touch with him. He'll fix you up. Good job, buddy. <laughs>